Hi my loves, how's it going? How are you doing? So today I'm going to be doing like a first impression type of video for the new Flower Nose collection that has come out. I've had it with me for a while, I can't lie. I just got really lazy with like filming and stuff and I've been so like inconsistent. Like I was on a roll at one point and then I've just fallen off it like so quick, I can't lie. But this is just one of the looks I've created using the products from today's um, video. I can't lie, not too bad, not too bad. Um, I am by no means a professional, I just, or anything like that, I just enjoy makeup. So I thought I'll like share my like opinions on the brand and the products that I've used and how I feel about it in general. And if you like those types of videos, please make sure you like, subscribe, you comment down below, let me know, and I can possibly do more of these types of videos. But yeah, I don't want to like drag the intro, so let's just get into the rest of the video. Okay, so in order to make this as fair po as possible, I have gone in with just my base, so only foundation, concealer, I've done my brows and I did a bit of primer because I want to see just how long this makeup sort of lasts and that's all I've gone in. There's also nothing on my lips, as you can see here, they just dry and crusty and you'll have to just ignore my nail polish because I'm a state. Um, the first thing I will be starting off with is the eyeshadow and this is just what the palette outside looks like. Um, one thing I'll have to say about this brand is they put effort into every aspect of like the packaging. It's not bland, it's not boring. Every single item is packaged really beautifully and the aesthetic of this like um, brand is really nice and I have to say like I enjoy that part of the experience too and I think they really like with every sort of product that they've released um, they do put a lot of like time and effort into the packaging and it's not always about the product. I have yet to actually try the products but from the outside it's also very um, pretty which I like and it's nice to see when like a brand puts that much effort in because it kind of shows that they actually care as well. So when you open it one thing I've noticed is they package um, their palettes in like this and I get I'm like I'm holding it upside down but that's just what the outside looks like as you can see that there's a lot of detail on here and this is there's parts of this which is raised which is really nice as well because if you like kind of feeling texture and stuff that's really nice sorry that's probably better to look at but that's really nice and just like the packaging itself again on the outside is really really pretty so I give like I give them that like they really did put the time and effort into like the packaging i'm going to show you what the outside of the palette looks like which is just like this again it's very textured i do love like the the feel of this um and then when you open it up it's just a fine a five pan palette and then it looks like this on the inside oops um it's got two shimmers and three mattes as we can see there's not really much depth in here um so if you are like a deeper skin tone than me i don't know how this would turn out look you could try this with like a, a white base which is what I would probably go for normally but today I'm just gonna use concealer as like an eye base and see how that works um, but normally when it comes to like pastels and light colors I use a white base because I feel like it makes it stand up more but I don't have I can't find the correct white base like concealer primer so maybe another time I'll show you guys how it looks um, I'll also insert swatches somewhere. I'm having a hard time deciding which of these colours I want to use, but I'm more leaning towards like the second shimmer and this colour here. So I think I will try that and see how it goes. So normally when I'm doing like an eyeshadow and I, I'm using a matte shade, like especially for the outer corner, um, or with like my eye is, I use a brush like this. Um, this one's from Spectrum, it's B11. Um, I like it because it's quite small as you can see here. I hope that's in like focus. Um, that's just what it looks like. I do like this because it, it fits nicely in like my hooded like lids. So <laughs> that's why I tend to use this one. I'm gonna go in with that like middle matte shade. And normally I just like tap it into the thing if I feel like I've gotten too much, I'll tap on the side. And then I normally just like swipe like this and I've been told you shouldn't do that and it should be patted in. So that's what I'm gonna try today. So as I mentioned, I've only got um, concealer 
on my eyelids normally i don't use concealer and i do use an eyelid primer but um the one i currently have is not really my favorite and i need to find like better eyelid primers i was using one by stigma and honestly i'll say that was really really good and i do kind of miss that one but i do have a few other primers i want to kind of get through before i do go back and purchase that also i've been on a bit of a makeup no buy for some time now and i want to kind of continue that onwards especially until i do use up some of these other products that i do have because i have a lot of makeup um some categories are a lot more than others um and i want to just kind of like tame my collection down and with things like eye primer i don't really need that much variety like i need a good white base um eye primer and a good like a neutral kind of a base one that I can use on, like a regular basis um I'm not going to lie so far, I do like this colour, it's quite a nice shade and to be fair I am actually quite surprised that it's not looking very like weird because I know a lot of pastels, they're normally, and this isn't exactly a pastel but I was expecting this to be very like, like what's the word, like chalky I guess is the word for it, like even though I am still on like the fairer side, like on the lighter side of like my skin tone, I was still a bit like is it gonna work is it not but i'm actually glad to see it does look quite nice um i don't normally like wear shades like this so i don't really know why i bought this color actually i do i literally bought it for the packaging um but yeah no i am really liking the way this looks i tend to pack on a lot of color because i like my look to be very like bam in your face um i should probably learn how to be a little bit light-handed when it comes to doing makeup but it's fine i guess but yeah, no, that's just, normally this is literally how would, how would do my eyeshadow look. There'll be two colours, one will be a matte and the other will be a shimmer and that's literally it. I cannot do eyeliner to save my life. So instead I just do like colour, like colour eyeliner underneath and call it a day. So yeah, I'm just going to do the same now on the other side. Okay, so the brush I'm going to use now is a Spectrum A18 brush. It's just flat like this and... This is the brush I always go for whenever I'm using um, any sort of shimmers. I have a hair on my face, I can feel it, it's so itchy, irritating, but I can't see it, so <laughs> it's a little bit annoying. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do one eye without the um, glitter primer, and the other eye I'll put the primer on like off camera, and I'll show you what the difference looks like. Sometimes I will use my finger, sometimes I use a brush, sometimes I'll initially go in with like using the brush and then like do like a swipe. And then if it doesn't show up, then I'll go in with like using setting spray on a brush just to wet it a little bit. It just depends on the actual eyeshadow that I go for. Today, I'm going to first give it a go with just using this and see how it goes. Um, if there are any like better ways you recommend of using or doing eyeshadow, like a shimmer, then using a flat brush, please let me know. Because I'm always looking to improve my makeup skills because they are certainly lacking. That's for sure. Um, so I'm just gonna like pattern, I guess pattern shift a little bit like this. That's definitely an interesting colour but I don't think that I'm doing it justice by picking it up on this brush. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go with my finger and see if it actually covers anything or if I actually should have maybe used the matte eyeshadow all over my eye first and then just put this on as like a top shade where I needed to. So I think that is something I might have had to do instead. Um, yeah, with your finger, it's not too bad. Again, ignore my crusty nail polish. I've just not had time to remove gel. And honestly, removing gel at home is a nightmare. But I didn't want to go back to the salon I went to because initially they didn't really do a great job with like painting nails. It was really messy and some of the nail polish had already started coming off. I went back to fix some of them and it just, it was messy. It was still bumpy and I was like, okay, I'm not going to go back again because it's just not worth my time at this point. Like, and I can't bother fighting people anymore. Um, I'll give businesses one go, especially like local businesses. I'll give them one chance and then maybe another chance after that. And if they still let me down, then I'll just save my money and go somewhere else instead. I haven't really painted my nails. Um, and the only reason I did it was because of need. I would normally put on fake nails and my mum was just like, you take so long when it comes to point on fake nails, just get your nails off my side because it will save time. And I did, and it was just like so not the best. Um, so yeah, like next time I'm just gonna do my own nails. 
paint them to but like my problem is that like, my nails are really fragile and like for some reason especially like my middle finger nails they like bend in which is really weird and i don't know if it's just because i've got really weak nails or they grow at a really weird angle and i can't figure that out um i know it's weird i know it's really weird but yeah i do struggle with that but um, next time i'm just gonna like i guess just be better <laughs> um i promise i'm not flipping you guys off i just got tired of using my ring finger on the right hand that's not looking too bad i'll be honest um i wouldn't say it's like the greatest but it's not like bam i'm in love and i think this one is going to be one of those that are better applied either wet or um using a glitter glue so off camera i'm just going to do this eye but using the glitter glue okay so i've just done this eye using the glitter glue and i think it definitely shows up a lot better on top of this than it just does on its own so I would definitely recommend using a uh, glitter glue with this at least um i will probably try another time using or like using maybe wetting the shadow um that i'm using or the shimmer sorry and then see how that looks and then another time i'll try it with doing the matte all over and then using this on top of it um so on its own it'll be a little bit more like i guess a bit more for topper shade when you're using it with glitter it shows up a little bit more and it looks like this also i do not know the correct terminology when it comes to makeup i'm just saying it how it is so please don't be offended also i have like no prior knowledge or like i haven't previously like done any research or listened to or watched any reviews of this brand so like any opinions are literally my own um so please don't mind but yeah no this is just what it looks like with the glitter primer this is what it looks like without there's definitely a difference between the two of those so I would definitely recommend using a uh, glitter glue because it does look a lot better with that, in my opinion. Also, normally when I've done my eyes, I always go in with the same um, matte shade I've done in my like crease underneath my eye, just because I like that look. Otherwise, I think it just looks a little bit weird when you leave it like this. So I'm just going to quickly add that in as well. Okay, so that's just what it looks like when you add like the bit of colour underneath. Also, I'm quite surprised that there wasn't really much fallout with this. Actually, there wasn't really any, except for that little bit here, like right underneath here. So I'm really happy with that because normally I always end up doing my eyes at the end because I'm usually really worried that with a lot of like eyeshadows there tends to be a lot of like fall out and kickback and it just ends up ruining the rest of your makeup. Um, so I'm really glad this didn't do that. Okay, so I've just done a quick layer of the mascara. I've just used my old um, NARS Climax one. This is a couple years old, but I like how it's not made my lashes clumpy because a lot of mascaras do that. Also, normally my lashes are like point like straight. So it can be quite hard to kind of even get them to look like this. So it's not a bad mascara, but if you also have lashes that are kind of like straight and like down, and if you have a really good mascara that works for you, please recommend it to me because I need it. Like it's hard to find good mascaras these days. Next up, we have two blushes that come as part of this um, collection. One is in the purple packaging, one's in the pink. What I really like about this is on the outside again the packaging it looks like you know when you get like a deck of cards and the outside always usually has a design it kind of looks like that so at first i was like wait are these playing cards like am i tripping or something um they're not it's just the packaging for blush but again like they put effort into the product design which i really do like and appreciate um so that's just what they look like on the outside i'll show you what this one looks like first they're very similar but they're not um but yeah, this one in the pink is Romantic Blossom. It does look really nice, I can't lie. Um, and again, it's just the packaging. Everything comes like packaged like this. So it's always got some sort of like protecting layer on it, I guess. And I understand that like it's not probably the best for the environment, but it's also nice to know if I'm buying something, it's coming well preserved and it's not gonna like break or get damaged. Um, so that's quite nice. <laughs> And then once you just pop it out of here, this is what it looks like. It's a tiny blush. There you go. It is tiny, but it's bulky. But again, just look at the outside. This is again, it's textured. You can feel it here. That is a different texture. And then there's all of this. And it just feels really nice. And it's really pretty to look at. Again, if I had like a makeup display, this would be on it. Um, and then on the inside, it looks like this. This is probably not like my go-to kind of blush, um, but it would definitely be something I would love to try. Also, I think this would be really nice, like summer blush. 
Um, I'm a bit nervous to try this one, but let's see how this looks. And um, this one, I don't know if I said the name already, but it's called Romantic Blossom. So I'll do this one on one side and I'll do the other blush on the other side to show you guys how they look. The second blush is called Little Cranberry. Um, again, same packaging, which slide out and then you just got to pop it out of the actual box or the sleeve really. And then again, I think it's the same packaging on the outside, just like in a lilac colour instead. That's just what it looks like. And then when you open it, this is a complete different, like, it's a different type of pink. Again, I've never tried this type of pink before, so I'm a little bit nervous to see how this looks on me. Um, because some shades just don't pull off correctly, they don't look right on my skin tone. And I don't know if these two might be that. <laughs> So I'm a little bit nervous to try this, but um, when I'll open them up next, like back, like next to each other, to show you guys what they look like. And one's definitely more on the pinky tone. One's definitely more on like the purpley tone. So that's just what they look like. Um, yeah. So <laughs> there's just that. Um, but again, I'll just do one on each side to show you. And the blush brush comes in a similar packaging, but this time it looks like a swan. Um, and on the other side, it's like ballerina shoes. Pretty. It is really pretty. I think this is part of this. They had quite a few collections. So this, I'm not sure if it's like a free gift of purchase or something. But I I think this is a free gift of purchase, I'll be honest, because it comes from a different collection. Um, it's a Swan Ballet series. So my bad. But because I did buy the whole collection, I, lo I do love that they do offer free gifts all the time. It is a small brush and it just looks like this. Um, it has like flower nose written on this side and then all of here is like a, a pattern, which is quite nice. And that's just what the brush itself looks like. Um, it is a mini brush, so it does feel a bit weird holding it, but I'm definitely gonna try this out and see how it is. Normally when I do use or do my blush, I go in with this Spectrum C07 brush and it just looks like this. I don't really think it is a brush for doing a blush but I just like how it works so I just typically use this but I will go in and use this one and see how this works as well um and if I like this more then I might keep this one out instead for my blush but again I'm just going to use this really old damaged mirror from Colourpop um so the first one I'm going to go in with is this more pinkier toned one and I just can't bother to take off the stickers on the blush so I'm going to use this instead but I'm really worried. I don't want to like ruin the embossing on the blush because it's just so pretty. I'm nervous. Okay. Oh my god, okay. So I have just packed the brush up with a bit of colour. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't know why I'm so scared. <laughs> okay. It's not a bad brush with applying the blush but it's not the softest brush um and if you have issues with like textures and stuff you might not like this blush and some of the foundation is coming off on this um but this is just what it's looking like I think I ended up using a powder, like the translucent powder came down here. So it's not covering it as much as I would have hoped, but that is my fault because I, <laughs> yeah, I should have been a lot more careful when doing the powder application. There is kickback in this, but it's not like so much because some blushes, they kick back like, I don't know, they've got like, infinite stardust or something but this isn't too bad um this doesn't really go with the colors that are in the actual palette which is one thing i don't understand um because i would have i would have preferred it if they did match a little bit more but it's not okay i guess i can use this with other products but again because i did use the translucent powder it's not really covering here but on so i'll just bring my brush my blush down a little bit more than what i normally would just to kind of show you guys so this is what it looks like um, and I'm just going a little bit heavy handed so you can see what it looks like and it picks up 
uh, it's an interesting blush. I haven't tried to wipe this brush off and I'm going to use the other one and <laughs> I am nervous. I just want to laugh. <laughs> Okay, so that's what the product looks like on this brush. I'm just gonna tap some of it off. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this brush, I'll be honest. It's not the greatest. So I will probably only keep this like there when I need it. Um, I think I might have one or two others because it's actually not the first time I have bought from Flower Nose um, so I think I have some others I'm gonna just change to the other brush instead that I normally go for I guess it's a little bit more denser than that one but I'm really worried about doing this My lips are so crusty, man. I need to drink water. And I also need to moisturise my lips. That's for sure. I feel like this brush is also better when it comes to blending out the product that you already have on your face. Whereas this brush, you can't really do that. You just got to tap it in and it doesn't really like do the blending. So I wouldn't really recommend this. But because it's a free gift of purchase, I can't really complain. Um, but this is just what that lilac blush looks like and this is better and it matches more i guess with the eye look as well because it's like a similar tone it is cool toned but it's also a similar shade as well which is quite nice i'm just going to clean this brush off and then try to blend up this side a little bit better okay so i've blended out this brush a little bit better hopefully that actually does look better now um but just when i'm looking in the mirror i definitely prefer the blush on this side than i do on this side because i don't think this really matches at all with the shades that are in the palette and even with the eyeshadow you can tell like um it pulls a little bit more on the um purple side even though it's like a more pinky purple but it definitely looks more purple and then on this side i guess with like this blush it just looks different anyway like especially the matte side the shimmer looks different but the matte definitely looks different um i don't necessarily know if i would use this pink as often or at all um so that's one thing i'd say but this one is a nice blush i do like a purple blush it does look really nice and it pulls really nice and like medium to deeper skin tones but that's just what it looks like i mean also it doesn't help that my hair is this like i don't know what shade you call this like copper strawberry strawberry blonde like a weird orange yellow mustard whatever you want to call this hair color um, it doesn't really help that I have that so I think it would definitely be better if I had like all one hair so I know that my makeup does clash with my hair so I'm trying to just throw that back um, but no I definitely am preferring this blush to this one I think also it doesn't help that I'm not really used to this blush but also this blush doesn't really match the colour story of the eyeshadow anyway um, especially the, the, the five shades that are in the pan but it's not bad like I wouldn't say I'm never going to use it again I probably will just with a different eyeshadow or like a no eyeshadow and just like throw a blush, blush on. Um, also, I have really textured skin, so you can probably see that too. But let me know which of the two you prefer. So on, the, again, just so you know, on the left side, I've used a little cranberry. And on the right side on here, I've used um, Romantic Blossom. So Romantic Blossom, the pink one, and then the Little Cranberry on this one. So let me know which one of the two you think are better or you prefer as well. Here's a swatch of both of the blushes on my wrist. And here they don't look too different. One just looks a little bit deeper than the other, but when you apply it on the face, they do look quite different. So there are four lip products that came with this collection. There's two in like the lilac packaging, two in the pink packaging which is quite nice. I honestly was just expecting it to be two lip products and I think even that would have been enough for this. So I'm not complaining that there are four um, because it wasn't too expensive. 
for this collection i was expecting it to be a little bit more and it wasn't so that was nice but like again just look at the packaging it's so pretty all of them look similar or they are actually literally the same just two of them are pink and two of them are purple um the four shades are raspberry booze uh, strawberry macaron you've got berry bomb and i need glasses i swear and blackberry jam i'm gonna just watch these quickly to show you guys so these are not really colors i would normally go for however they do look absolutely stunning and i am yet to try them outside of doing this video so let's see so this one is raspberry booze it's a very pinky um gloss to the dark pink we've got strawberry macaron it's a very light pink next up it next up is blackberry jam which just looks like that and that's definitely quite a deeper shade i don't know how that would suit me <laughs> i'll be honest and then the last one is berry bomb um okay i actually was expecting this to be completely different but it's interesting so the last shade is a lalaki like shimmer and hopefully you can actually see that and it looks like that so those are the four shades of gloss i think i'll try all of these products and show you guys how they look um on my particular skin tone so i'll just go with the last one i tried which was um berry bomb i'm quite nervous Because I hate glosses that are like really sticky and goopy. Um, I don't necessarily like the smell. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like it's sometimes it's like there's no scent there, but sometimes it smells like grapes. I guess. Um, So this is like the, so that's just what it looks like now. Um, it's just like a light shimmer, but it is like purple. You can tell that there's a bit of a shimmer there. Um, I wouldn't use it on its own, I don't think. I might use it as like a topper on another lipstick, but it's not too sticky or goopy or whatever. And it's a little bit on the thicker side so it doesn't like glide as nicely as sometimes it would but you can definitely see that there's when there's like a shift in the lighting there is like lilac-y purpley specks in the gloss which some people might love some people might not so that's just what it looks like um but i don't feel like it's enough to complete this look you know after taking it off it does still feel a bit sticky but the good thing is it's not like it doesn't like spread everywhere which is nice but it's a bit of a pain to take off i'm gonna try the next like lalaki one the one that's like the deepest of the actually no because this is a deeper shade i'm gonna save this till the end i'm gonna try the next one which is like the um lighter pink it's like a berry there sort of color um actually no it does look a bit pink on the lips that's quite surprising because i wasn't expecting it to be any sort of color I never go in with just one layer of my gloss so I'm doing this as realistically as possible to what I would normally kind of do um actually that is more color than I expected it to be um it's it's more brighter and pinkier than what the swatch looked like but I would say that's quite nice and this doesn't really have a smell to it but I like the color it's not too bright to in your face but it's a nice enough, like a pink rosy, I don't know if rosy would be the word, but like a nice sort of tint on your lips and a nice colour. Um, and it also doesn't look too bad with the overall makeup look either. So that's quite nice. Um, and this is like a nice, like, it doesn't feel too heavy as like a gloss on your lips, which I really do appreciate. Because sometimes that's like the most like uncomfortable feeling, especially if you are somebody who does 
like textures do affect them um so yeah i do like this how because it's so lightweight and the color's nice i would say definitely this is probably like one of the favorites i've tried so far this was the strawberry macaron shade but no that is actually quite lovely surprisingly actually i wasn't expecting it to have this much color on it either so that's quite nice next up i'm going to try the other pink one and this is more of a shimmer and i think this one and the next and the last one i use are going to be very similar um, again, it's quite lightweight, which is nice. It doesn't really have much of a, a smell to it either. Um, and it does have a, like a nice tint to it, but again, I don't know how I feel about this shade kind of going with like the actual eyeshadow. Um, and this is just one layer this time. I've used whatever I had in the brush. And I've just used that. So there is a good amount of tint like in this particular shade. This one, um, I forgot the name already. But this one was the Raspberry Bruise one. Again, it feels lightweight. It's not like too sticky or weird. Um, it's a nice shade and it's not too heavy again. I think I've already said that. It's not like the most glossiest of gloss. I'll say that. But it's not too bad, considering I have used worse <laughs> glosses than this. But for me personally, I don't typically go in for like a coloured gloss, especially not one this type of shade. But I think this colour would be really nice in like the autumn time. But for me personally, I don't typically wear shades this colour. So I might have a bit of a harder time using this up. Um, but I can't lie, it's still quite pretty. It's still quite pretty. I can definitely see myself wearing this in like autumn winter time. That's for sure. Like that is for certain. But again, I just probably would not be pairing this gloss with this like eyeshadow palette. Like I would probably not use this collectively. Definitely like individually. But I wish it was like more curated so it could be used together. I don't know if I said this already. But the good thing is it doesn't stain your lips. Um, which is actually quite nice. I'm now just going to go in with the last shade which is Blackberry Jam, and I think this is the deepest one of them all. Um, again, it's very lightweight. It doesn't really feel like it's there. The one thing is, if you're looking for glosses that are like really glossy, this is not it. But it is a nice lightweight formula, and if you're looking for a shade like this then you might really enjoy this product and also the packaging is really fun so if you are somebody like me who does love and is a sucker for cute packaging this honestly might be the gloss for you so that is just one layer of that gloss and as you can see there's a lot of color to this and again, it's not the shade I would match with this eyeshadow or blush. This is definitely also not my particular go-to colour. And if I was to wear this, it's definitely going to be like autumn, winter time. It just feels like it's one of those shades. Um, I'm going to go in for a second layer and show you what that looks like too. Okay, so that's just what the second layer looks like of this gloss. Again, it's not bad. It's not goopy. It's not sticky. It's not like heavy on your lips. It's kind of like, it's a product that's on your lip that you forget that's kind of there. Like you can carry on with your day and it wouldn't, like you wouldn't like necessarily notice. I'd be like, oh, well, there's something like weird or heavy or whatever like that on my lips. So that's one thing I'll say that I really do like about this. But it's just the shades of the glosses. They just don't match with the rest of like, the products that are in there if you know what i mean um but it's not bad like it's got a nice color to it and i feel like a lot of people could use this product but i can't complain like it's not too bad i don't know how much use i would necessarily get out of this product but but it's it's okay it's okay it's i'm not like 10 10 like i would be like oh my god yes to die for it's definitely not that product but in general, overall, I'd probably give this like a 6.5, 7 out of 10. 
only because I love the consistency of, of this product. There is a decent amount of colour to this and it's not a weird like gloopy product. I guess that would come in like the, the texture of the product itself but like for that reason I do like it. The reason it doesn't get like oh my god it, I'm so crazy about this is it's not too too glossy. As part of this collection you do also get like a hand held mirror and like a, it does come with like a nice box that you also get which you can use for like anything so the mirror comes in this sort of packaging um again it's so pretty i would probably keep the packaging you know i am a hoarder but i'm gonna try not to do that because it's a bit silly this is called wisteria purple um it's just so nice to look at you know and the product itself does come wrapped up in this packaging. I mean, it's not really going to do much to protect the actual mirror. But I do appreciate that they have tried. The mirror itself it just looks like this on the outside. I hope you can see that. Yeah. So I'll like, show you guys a little bit closer up. So that's what it looks like. Again, got the strawberry theme going on. That's just what the the handle is but it's a quite a small thin handle it's giving very feminine i like that and then the actual front just looks like this i haven't bothered to take the sticker off because i'm not gonna like start using this already because i've got like three mirrors in total behind me that i normally like can grab like gravitate and rotate through but it is a nice mirror so i can imagine myself sitting here and just like doing my makeup but um i'm using like a more thicker handle than this i'm just worried if i hold it it's gonna like i don't know break i mean it's not gonna break but it just feels like that compared to like this one and then this one like compared to that it's just tiny but it is a really pretty mirror i would love to like just collect these like these are like one of those products things that i feel like it's just like collectibles i think i have one other mirror from them from a previous time i ordered from flower nose um, I'm just going to put this in storage though because there's no point in having so many mirrors out but it's so pretty again something that would go on like my makeup display you know the last like actual product I got um after like before any freebies was this uh box this is you can basically use this for anything I guess it just depends on what you want typically I associate this with like somebody storing their like jewelry because that's what it looks like I do love how it's got this here is quite pretty and then it has their like um what do you call it their logo um on here as well that's quite nice and then even this little like handle thing that you're supposed to use to open this is really nice but i'm worried that that's gonna break so i just like try to be as gentle as i can and then on the inside it does have like a mirror and then um without trying to reflect too much and then the inside of this actually is just like padded material and then the paddings have like lip pearls attached which i think is really pretty like it's it's cute it's definitely cute but it is a nice box to use i don't know what i'm gonna put this put in this so i might use this for some like like jewelry that i have if not i might use this or give it to my mom i don't know what i'm gonna do with this but it's so pretty to just look at um i do love collecting boxes like these they're just nice but then i don't know what to ever put in them so that's like the only downside to these but they are pretty and i think all like collections have come with some sort of like a box like this or like a bigger one um but this is like the first full collection that i did buy from them and yeah so some of the actual freebies that i got were these two clips from flower nose um it's these are quite pretty, I can't even lie. I can't lie, they're so nice. Um, I do appreciate that the brand does give a lot of free products. I'm just going to stick this in my hair. That's just what it will look like. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's quite nice. It's, it's nice. It's giving cute. It's pretty. It's giving very core. Um... But a lot of it is literally like angels. Um, the only problem is if I put it on this side, it then looks like it's upside down. <laughs> so it would work really well on this side, just not on this side. Then I got two packets of these like tiny um, puffs. 
which I already have a load of puffs. I'm not complaining because I'm just going to put these in like my extras. But they are quite pretty, you know. Um, the packaging is cute. It's, it's, I mean, it's just a basic puff. I've not really, I've got one that I'm currently using that's a little bit big. Um, so I might just end up transitioning and <laughs> using these instead. But I've got two of these now. So that's, they come two per pack. And I've got two packs. So I've got four in total, which is quite nice. And like the last thing they gave is this little like, I guess I can note, like a thing that you can read. I appreciate stuff like this. This is what it says. Hopefully you can like, so you can pause to read it, but I will read it out to you guys as well. This is quite sweet. And it just says, Flower Nose was born in 2016, inspired by every dreamer's heart. Our vision derives from the gentle whispers of fairy tales and strokes of timeless art. Each product we craft is a canvas detailed and loving, creating a world where fantasy and reality meet. Seeing so many of you reconnect with your dreams and the wonders of childhood through our work has been a pure joy. Your continued support ignites our passion and inspires us to keep dreaming bigger. May you always wear your crown, fearless dreamer, and never let the world dim your sparkle. With a heart full of gratitude and a world full of wonder, the flower knows to you. <laughs> that, honestly, is so freaking cute. Um, that like makes my inner child really happy and it brings her joy so that's that's really nice um i appreciate things like this i think also it's these little things that kind of make brands stand out a little bit more and for me flower nose does that um overall i will say like for my first impressions the brand is not bad like I, as i mentioned several times i love the packaging i love the concept i love that there's always like a really pretty theme going on is very like feminine and um, it's just like aesthetically pleasing. They do amazing with the outer packaging and even though, like the color stories are quite nice, I wouldn't necessarily say, um, if you're like me, you might not prefer everything that's in the product or like um, a collection, sorry. So it might not be worth you buying a full collection. You might wanna like pick certain things. I would definitely recommend this blush. That was really nice. Their lip products are also really like, they are, quite good I won't lie I'm not I wouldn't like I don't like love love them then like I'm not gonna like repurchase like 10 of them because I don't necessarily like these particular colors um on myself but if these are like your colors and you prefer them then I would definitely recommend this because the formula is really nice it's not heavy it's not gloopy it's not sticky it's not icky it's not leaking and this hasn't like budged which is really nice also they don't stain which is another like positive for me um because sometimes you know when you put on the lip product it doesn't really work for you and then you want to change it sometimes products stain and i like that this doesn't stain when i take off the rest of my makeup we'll see if it stains or not and i'll give you guys an update if it does um with the eyeshadow itself as well it's honestly not so bad i wasn't necessarily expecting it to work on my particular tone um and i'm not like i'm not like deep by any like any like way of whatever i'm still like like i don't know people say light to fair like or like medium whatever not light to fair sorry like light f light to medium or medium light whatever however you think i'm still <laughs> you know but i'm surprised it did still work on my skin tone i will say though definitely with the shimmers um you can't use them on its own i think either using them wet or using a glitter glue because the glitter glue it really stands out and it looks very different with that than it does with that one. So I would definitely recommend using a glitter glue with this. So far, like I've had this on for a little while, I've been recording for about an hour and it honestly, it hasn't creased, which I'm really happy with. Um, the color hasn't started to go weird. I've had no weird like creases at all because my eyelids are not only creasy, they're really oily as well. So I'm really happy with that. Um, the blushes are not bad. I don't think necessarily some like certain tones just don't look right on me and I think part of that is um highlighted more because of the colour of my hair um but also like I don't necessarily go for this particular shade but I do feel like since I've put the blush on it has like faded a little bit which can be good for some some people might not prefer that so that kind of just depends on your vibe and how you feel about this but I do feel like they have settled down a little bit more and they do look a little bit better like I'm not 100% hating this blush before I was like oh 
I don't think I'm going to use it at all. Whereas this one I'll definitely do love and I will definitely continue to use this one. The embossing on the blushes is just so stunning. And like, it's just so pretty to look at. So yeah, I don't know if this is much of a first impressions, but like, I definitely do like what I've played around with. Probably will go back and repurchase future collections of products that really do stand up to me. Um, and I want to see what else they do create. They've had quite a few interesting products or like collections actually. Um, and I kind of wish I had discovered this brand a little bit earlier because some of the collections were really, really fun. So yeah, I would personally say that I'm definitely going to pick up some more products to try in the future. Like this is not bad by all means. Like I've tried worse, um, but it's nice. I like it. I like it, you know? That is literally everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, please make sure you like, subscribe and comment down below. Um, and I might look into doing more videos like this. Um, trying out different products and maybe even trying out the products that I already own that are like old and I'm kind of just giving my reviews on them as like a way to like decide if I'm going to keep anything or not. But if you do like these types of videos, definitely let me know and I'll, I'll do more. This is quite fun to do, I can't lie. Um, I'm by no means a pro, I just enjoy doing makeup because I find it really therapeutic and like that's the why. Um, but yeah, no, that will be all for today's video. I'll catch you next one. Bye.